Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we've got another NHL slate we're going to be going over. And we have seven games and five plays we're looking at for today. But before we get into today's video, before we get into the recap of yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with the video here at Earl Sports Bets. And also, you can follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter and at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. And also, we have a Discord chat. The link to that will be in the description of the video. And as always, leave your best bet for NHL in the comments section below. All right, quick recap of yesterday. After a three and one day two days ago, four and zero day uh, yesterday or the the day before. Yesterday we went two and three, so a little bit of a hiccup in the uh, the week, but we got losses from uh, Pittsburgh and Washington over the total of six, three to two in overtime. It looked okay heading into the third period. It was two to two, and we just didn't see any goals in the third period. That game went to overtime, um, and they won it in overtime. In Pittsburgh, uh, Chicago, and Columbus. I don't think I could have been any more wrong. Uh, Chicago hit the over all by themselves. So uh, the offense for Chicago looked really good tonight or last night. Uh, they usually seem to turn it up against Columbus. I should have seen this one coming. It is what it is. We got the loss on that one. And Detroit uh, losing 2 nothing yesterday. They looked fine through the first two periods. The offenses looked very stagnant, though, uh, for both teams, Nashville and Detroit. This wasn't a... Uh, there wasn't a, an enthusiastic win for Nashville either. Uh, they scored two goals in the, in the third period, but their offense looked terrible in the first two periods. So, I mean, Pecorine looked good last night. He made the saves where he had to make the saves, but it was a low-volume game for him uh, saves-wise too. So I'm still not convinced on this Nashville team, but uh, I'm totally okay with uh, losing that one, taking that stab at plus 137. And honestly, tomorrow when these two teams play again, I believe they play again. Uh, we'll probably be going right back to Detroit because I feel like they can hang with this Nashville team. And then uh, our wins. We start off the day and end of the day really well. We start off the day with a 4-1 to win for the Buffalo Sabres. I know a lot of people were on the Devils in that game. I was all over Buffalo. Uh, this, it seems like they can only really beat New Jersey right now. Uh, Linus Olmark looked really good in net. And they finally got some power play scoring. So props to the Buffalo Sabres for getting a nice win yesterday. And then Edmonton, holy crap, Edmonton. Uh, they were down 3 to nothing in the first period, and it looked really dim. I ended up live betting them in a couple of spots. I wish I pulled the trigger when they were down 3 nothing. I think plus 450 it was, but I got them at plus 240 on the money line as well, which cashed for me nicely. But uh, we, took, uh, we got the comeback. Uh, Edmonton just started peppering the... Net with uh, shots, and a few went in. McDavid scored the tying goal, and they won that game very nicely. Uh, ni very nice comeback for Edmonton. Props to them. When you're playing good, you're playing good. And with Vancouver, when you're playing bad, you're playing bad. Uh, there's a couple teams I'm really fading in this league right now. Uh, one is uh, one is Vancouver. The other one's Nashville, and then another one uh, is on a video today They uh, that they're playing like really bad right now. So we'll get into that. And we'll get into that with today's video. Let's get into today's slate. Why don't we? One second. Had the wrong thing up on my. Uh, had the wrong thing up on my internet. <laughs> uh, we have a seven game slate we're going over for today, starting at five o'clock. So keep that in mind. And the last game starts at 9 30, not 10. But uh, let's get it started here. The Carolina Hurricanes travel to Tampa Bay to play the Lightning over our uh, minus 154 for Tampa Bay, one third plus 139 for Carolina, over under of six goals. And these two teams are so much fun to watch go up against each other. I really like watching these two teams. Carolina's looking like a cup contender this year. And Tampa Bay, obviously, is a cup contender as well. Uh, these two teams are top five in scoring, uh, and Tampa Bay's top five in defense. And these two teams are playing really well. 6-3-1 and one the last 10 games for Carolina, 7-3-0 oh, uh, in the last 10 games for Tampa Bay. 
these two teams both plays, play towards the over as well, but when they play each other, they've yet to hit an over. Uh, I can definitely see that happening tonight with Alex Nedjokovic back in net. After that shutout, I feel like they can eventually get to him tonight. But this game overall is going to be a pass. I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy some potential playoff-style hockey between these two clubs. I really like these two teams' uh, cup, uh, cup potential. I think that the winner of the Stanley Cup could come out of the Central Division. It could be one of these two teams playing tonight. So this game overall is a pass for me. I would probably lean towards taking the plus money with Carolina, especially the way they've been playing. But overall, this game is a pass for me. This next game is definitely not a pass for me. We have the Florida Panthers hosting the Dallas Stars. Minus 133 for the Panthers, plus 120 for the Stars. Over under five and a half goals in this game. And I mentioned in the uh, recap of yesterday, there's three teams I'm really fading right now. One being the Nashville Predators. The other one being the, um, what, was, what was the team? What was the team I was fading? It was the Predators. Someone else. And then Dallas. Dallas is a team I'm trying to fade right now. Um, they're, they're playing really bad at the moment. Let's see. What was the other team I was trying to fade? Oh, Vancouver. Uh, yeah. Dallas is a team I'm trying to fade right now. Uh, they've looked really bad lately. They're 2-4-4 four, and four in their last 10 games. They can't seem to finish off games. And this Florida team has looked really good as they've risen to the top of the Central Division, competing with Carolina and Tampa Bay. They're 12-3-1, 6-2-1 and one at home. Uh, this team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 games. Uh, they're really putting up good numbers. Chris Dreiger uh, has really emerged himself as a starting goalie for this team, and their backup, Sergei Borowski, making $10 million, just sitting back relaxing as Dreiger puts up incredible numbers, 7-1-1, one, one, 929 save percentage, 2.2 goals allowed per game. This Florida Panthers team, I feel, is for real. And this uh, Dallas Stars team, until they can prove they really can do anything for me, they are a fade for me. So we're going with the Florida Panthers here. I don't care that it's the uh, minus 133 line. And I'm tempted to take that puck line because this Florida Panthers team has looked good this year. And I can't really say the same about Dallas after their Stanley Cup run last year. Uh, they've looked really bad so far this season. I mean, they've also started with the COVID uh, incident in the beginning of the year and then with the uh, the snowstorms in Dallas right now uh, postponing their games for a few days uh, those home games this Dallas team has been shaken uh, and been tested and they've failed so far this uh, so far this season so we're going with the uh, Florida Panthers here at minus 133 versus the Dallas Stars next we head to uh, the Calgary Flames taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Minus 145 for the Leafs, plus 131 for the Flames. Over under of six goals in this game. And this is a game I actually really like uh, to take advantage of a certain incident. Uh, I believe it's going to be Jacob Markstrom back in net, but Michael Hutchinson is the announced starter for Toronto. And uh, if it's going to be Markstrom versus Hutchinson, I have no problem going back to Calgary again today. Uh, Calgary took care of business last game against Toronto, winning 3 0. I also like the under in this game. A little bit less now that Hutchinson is in net, but we're going with Calgary here to win uh, plus 131. Uh, Calgary has struggled lately, but they've looked a lot better. Uh, they looked a lot better the last couple games, or last game against Toronto. A nice little bounce back spot. Uh, but I'm going to be going with Calgary again today. I feel like they can get a nice win. Uh, against Michael Hutchinson and Net, so give me Calgary plus 131 versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Next, we have an Eastern Division matchup between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Rangers. Minus 126 for the Flyers, plus 114 for the Rangers. This is going to be an interesting one to see. Uh, Rangers coming in six, seven, and three, three and two and one on the road. Uh, Philadelphia is 8-4-3, and 5-2-2 and two at home. Uh, and this is a very banged up, uh, very shorthanded uh, Philadelphia team where I just don't see where their scoring is coming from. They're missing a lot of players right now. They're missing Konechny, they're missing Lawton, they're missing Limbaum, Voracek, Braun, and Grillo. This, uh, <laughs> this Flyers team is missing half their, uh, half their offense right now. 
And looking at it, uh, they're also going to have Brian Elliott in goal, which has not been terrible. He's 3-1 and one with a 928 save percentage, 2.25 goals allowed per game. But it's not someone I want to, I really want to trust with my money at a minus 126. I'm going to be looking at the New York Rangers side with this. Now, yes, I'm aware with the Adeni uh, Panarin situation with uh, his, there was that personal issue. I'm not going to get into it for this video because it's just not my business to do that. And it's I don't know enough to really talk about it. But uh, this Rangers team, I feel like the, this is going to be the, that one game where the when the superstar goes out, you see them play really well the next game, game, and then they're a team to fade afterwards. Um, Igor Sheshikin has been playing much better lately. He is 4-5-1, but he has a 9.22 save percentage, only allowing 2.23 goals per game. This Rangers team is playing towards the under. They're playing good defense. I'm hoping for a little bit more from Mika Zibanejad, from uh, Bushnevich. I'm looking for a little bit more from Kreider. Uh, and I'm looking for a little bit more offense overall from this team. They play good defense, but the question is, can we get scoring from them? I say yes today. Uh, I think this can be a 2-1, to 3-1 to one type of game for New York. So give me the Rangers plus 114 here uh, in this matchup. I'll also lean towards the under in this game as well. Next, we have the Anaheim Ducks taking on the uh, Arizona Coyotes. Uh, minus 157 for the Coyotes, plus 142 for the Ducks. Over under of five goals when I did uh, total madness last night. This was at five and a half, so this has moved it down. Not surprising, this, uh, this Ducks team is a very uh, defensive-minded team, uh, strictly because they can't score. Uh, they're a team I like to fade a little bit so far this season as well, but I don't bet. I usually don't bet their games too often because they're very inconsistent. They're in consistently inconsistent, really. This Anaheim Ducks team, John Gibson, one night can be really good, stand on his head, get this team a one nothing, two nothing win, and then some nights they don't score anything. They'll lose three to one, three nothing. Like this, this Anaheim team is not a good team. They can't really score. They're averaging one point eight nine goals per game, which is lowest in the NHL. And they're just a team I want to lay off of. This game overall is a pass for me. I, I mean, I'm not trying to bet an under on a total of five. That's just asking to lose. But uh, this is a pass for me overall, this game. No action for me whatsoever here. Next, we have the Minnesota Wild taking on the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, minus 169 for the Avalanche. Plus 152 for the Wild. And this game is going to be kind of interesting. This Wild team has looked really good. Um, and then uh, Colorado coming off of a 2-2 split with uh, the Golden Knights, where they just look like the better team in that matchup. But I like the under in this matchup a lot. Uh, these two teams play uh, more defensive-minded hockey. Now, uh, Minnesota is slightly to the over. Eight over, seven under so far this season. They're seven and six when the total is five and a half. But I'm looking at it more towards the defensive mindedness of this Colorado team. Their scoring has been a little bit lower this year. They're 17th in scoring, averaging less than three goals a game, 2.93. And they only allow 2.13 goals per game. I feel like this Avalanche team is starting to take a turn and playing better defensive hockey, which can really turn them into a playoff contender maybe making a little bit of a deep run in the playoffs to a Stanley Cup contender if they can play better defense here. Philip Grubauer has looked like one of the best goalies in the NHL. He's 9-4-1, 9-32 save percentage, 1.78 goals allowed per game. This Colorado team is looking really good defensively, and I feel like they're going to play a lot more to the under uh, in games to come, and, and they've done that so far this year. 66% of their games have gone under, uh, 10 unders, 5 over so far this season uh, in their last five games. Five unders, no overs, and overall in their last 10, three, um, three overs, seven unders, and when this total is five and a half, they tend to go under as well, 70%, three out of, or seven out of the 10 games have gone under the total when it's five and a half for the Avalanche, so I like the under here, five and a half between the Minnesota Wild and the Colorado Avalanche. And finally, we have the LA Kings taking on the St. Louis Blues. Minus 150 for the Blues, plus 136 for the Kings, over under of five and a half goals. And this Kings team looks good. They're not a team I want to step in front of right now. They've won their last five games. 
uh, after losing their previous five games before that. Uh, this team is a team that's playing well. Jonathan Quick and Calvin Peterson are playing really well in goal. They're getting scoring from I follow, from Dustin Brown, from uh, Andre Kopitar. Not really their younger players. Drew Doughty's looked good, though. Like, these, these older players, these veteran players, are getting scoring from the Kings. And if we can even get a little bit more scoring from those younger players as well. I feel like this Kings team has a shot to flirt with that number four seed in that Western uh, division um, with the Blues, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Avalanche being on the top three. I feel like the, you can group the Kings up with the Wild and with the Coyotes maybe as a, as a team competing for that last spot. So I like uh, the Kings in this matchup here to keep their uh, streak going. I'm going to ride them until this dies. Uh Basically, I like this Kings team right now. They're playing really good hockey. So give me the the Kings plus 136 in this matchup. Um, and, you know, let's, let's ride it. All right, let's quickly go over our plays for the day, and then we're going to head on out for this video. We got, we got a few dogs we like in this one, but we're going to start it off with the Panthers at minus 133 versus the Dallas Stars. Uh, they're just playing much better hockey right now. Calgary Flames plus 131 versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. New York Rangers plus 114 versus the Philadelphia Flyers. We got the under in the Colorado Avalanche and the Minnesota Wild game. And we have the over, or my bad, we have the Kings plus 136 versus the St. Louis Blues. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on those post, no post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with the video here at all sports bets but that's going to just about do it for this video i want to thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe as always and let's make some money let's cash some bets in the nhl tonight and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out guys